Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to help you set up aileron differential in your Radio Master TX12. Now this can help with adverse yaw and is especially useful with uh, some gliders. So let's take a look at the radio. The first thing we need to do is put the global variables in. Now we're going to hit the model button and we're going to go across to the modes. Now in here we need to go to flight mode zero and go down to there's where we can insert the global variables. So global variable one we're going to put in a number of 60, 60 percent. And the next variable we'll go across and we'll put 70 in. And the last one we're going to put a hundred. Okay, and there we go. So there's there's the global variables. Now we've put the global variables into our TX12. I'll explain to you what they are. We set up the global variables so like we did with 60, 70 and 100. Now if we, when we're programming our radio with OpenTX, we now put, we want to put a, a figure of 60 and it's in six different places in the programming of our radio. If we use a global variable, instead of putting the 60, we say use the global variable. If we want to change that global variable, we haven't got to go into every mix and change it. We just change it in the global variable. So that's a a short description of what global variables are, and they are very useful. So now let's move on to the mixes. Push enter, come back out, okay, and then we're going to go across. Now we need to add a lot of lines into the ailerons. So let's start off first by editing the first line. So we're going to push enter and then edit. In here, we need to change the weight to zero, then the offset is zero, the diff is zero, and we have to select a switch. Now I'm going to use the switch F, which is here, which will allow me to switch the differential. So we, this needs to be in the forward position. So in other words, that would be no differential. Okay, we push enter. Now. We need to add a line. Now to add a line, we just hold the enter key down and say insert after. And then I'm not going to give the mix a name, but in this line, we need to change the weight to our global variable we put in, and that is global variable one. The off oops, of Daisy, the offset should be zero, and the differential should be 100. I'm going to change that to 100, push enter, then we go down to the switch, push enter, and this will be the switch in the middle position. Okay, then we can push return. So we've now got our second line. Now what we're going to do is push enter again, hold it down, say insert after. And now we're going to edit this line. And in this line, the weight needs to be global variable 2. The offset is 0 and the diff is 100. One hundred, and the switch should be the switch in the back position. So we're just going to push enter, so this is my switch that I'm using. Pull it back and enter. Now we can return and we should now have our first three lines in and you can see that the switch in each position. Now we add, need to add one more line in. So we're gonna push enter, sorry. We're gonna push enter and we're gonna insert after. Now this line we need to spit, pick, this time it is, it is gonna be global variable three but it has to be global variable three as a minus 
Oops, a daisy. So we're going to go minus global variable 3. The offset is 0. The curve is 0. And we will have, there won't be any switch for this. So that is everything for the first um, aileron. We now need to repeat that for the second aileron. So let's go down to here. We are going to push enter and we're going to edit. So the first line, we have to make the weight zero. Whoops, a daisy, zero. And our offset has to be zero. Our diff has to be zero. But we have to pick the switch in the forward position. So we click, there we go, and we're done. Now we can push return, come back out again. Then we are going to duplicate this line. So this is line number two. So insert after. And we're going to have to make sure we change that source. The source needs to be the aileron. There you go. For some reason it changes it when it does that. Okay, and then we've got to pick the weight is going to be, that's global variable one is correct. The offset is going to be zero and the diff, we need to put a minus 100 in here. There we go. And the switch will be, we click enter and I'll switch in the middle position. Um, in the middle, middle position, there we go. Okay, and then we're going to push return. Now we need to replicate that line, so we're going to do line three. So line three, we need to change that back to aileron. And put aileron. And line three, we need to pick, oops, a daisy. Wait, GV2 is correct. The offset is zero. The diff is going to be minus 100. Minus 100. And the switch will be in the back position and we can push return and we should be good to go there now we need to put one more line in so we're going to hold the enter key down and in here we need to pick the changes to the input aileron this needs to be changed to g but minus three okay the offset is zero the diff is zero and there is no switch. So that should be everything. We should have programmed everything in that we need to do for the aileron differential. Now let's demonstrate the aileron differential on the radio. So if we push um, return and then we are going to go to our channels. And there we go. So the aileron differential is off. So if we watch the aileron channels, they should go to full throw. Now, if I hold the aileron over, the downward one will start coming up. You can see it's come up, and then it's come up the second amount. So we're going to put it back down again. And if we go to this side, the opposite thing should happen. You can see. So our upgoing aileron would be going up a lot, and our lowering one would only go a very short distance, and the same the other way around. Now let's switch over to the demonstration rig, and I'll show you this in operation. Now let's demonstrate the aileron differential. So the differential is off and my ailerons are new, moving normally. Now if I turn the aileron differential on full, we'll see the down one, down going one is going less than the up going one on both sides. And if I flick the switch, you'll see it goes to full deflection. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you and please share this video with your friends and please consider becoming a patron of my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now, bye bye.